Chris Brown allegedly throws down and Usher stepped in. It's a big week on the charts for Morgan Wallen in 17. We're running down everything you missed at Billboard's Latin Women in Music. And I catch up with the Muppets in one of my favorite interviews of my career. Hey guys, Tetris Kelly here, and it's Monday, May 8th. We've got a lot to talk about, starting with Chris Brown. Did Chris Brown and Usher fight? It was an interesting weekend at Lovers and Friends. So if you missed this weekend, well, let me break it down for you. Chris Brown had a birthday party at Skate Rock City Roller Rink in Vegas, in which TMZ and other outlets reported that he and Usher got in an argument that got physical and allegedly left Usher with a bloody nose. In the middle, they say, was Tiana Taylor, who was rumored to have been ignoring CB starting the conflict. Well, also this weekend, Usher's Vegas festival, Lovers and Friends. Although none of the three publicly addressed if the fight happened, Usher went on socials before his set and performed at the show. And video surfaced of Tiana vibing to Usher's Chris Brown cover. Brown posted to IG saying he wasn't involved in a second fight at the fest, but did not address his B-Day scuffle with Usher. If we get any news on the situation, we'll let you know. Just mad we missed out on what looked like a lit festival. And now for an update on the Billboard 200 and Hot 100 featuring my boys of 17. 17 has brought their inner energy to the Billboard charts. Morgan Wallen is on top of the Billboard Hot 100 and Billboard 200. But what's popping this week are the new debuts on our album chart. 17 has its third top 10 and highest charting effort as FML debuts at number two. Elsewhere, regional Mexican music continues to have a massive boom, with Esteban Armado earning the genre's highest charting album ever, with Desvelado at number six. And Jack Harlow gets his third top ten as Jackman debuts at number eight. They ain't cut from the same thread like him. They don't study doing work to get ahead like him. They don't pause. Now let's talk about what happened in Miami. It was a celebration of the top women in Latin music. Over the weekend, Billboard honored some of the most prominent women in Latin music. Me muy nerviosa, pero también muy emocionada. Cuéntalo. Oigan, como fan, estoy al lado de nada más y nada menos que la reina del reggaeton, por Dios. Evie Queen and Jackie Bracamontes were the hostess with the mostest, and Talia kicked off the night with an epic medley. <laughs> and later accepted the Global Powerhouse Award. It was a family affair for Goyo, whose mother presented her with the Agent of Change Award, and her daughter joined her on stage to accept it. I want to thank my mom for always inspiring me and encouraging me to chase my dreams always. Maria Becerra took home the Visionary Award, Ava Luna accepted the Tradition and Future Award, Amelia was this year's Rising Star, and Ana Gabrielle was given the Living Legend Award. Maluma was in attendance to present fellow Colombian powerhouse Shakira with Woman of the Year. Hoy tengo el honor de celebrar junto a ustedes a la más grande, a Shakira. She took the stage to give a powerful speech. Fue la música la que me me puso en el camino de regreso a mí misma. Pero las lecciones más importantes que he aprendido este año las he aprendido de otras mujeres. They closed the night with a performance from one of the hosts, Evie Queen. We'll be breaking down the fashion from Miami in a bit, but first we got to get to my interview with the Muppets. This is epic. I see you guys are in New York judging by Animals T. What you doing there? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're here doing a whirlwind press tour for the Muppets Mayhem. You know, with our new show coming to Disney Plus. Got snow globe too. Oh, you got a snow globe. Yeah. A T and a snow globe. Animals living his best life as you both are with Muppets Mayhem. Thank you. Doesn't get any weirder than that, am I right? You know it. Let's say we bring the old school and you bring the new. How about a hot music collab, huh? But now let's talk about collabs on the new project. Who might you guys be working with? Ah, uh -huh. tell them, tell them. You want me to tell them? Yeah, 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 you tell them, sure? tell them. Okay, all right, I'm gonna tell them then. We're glad you asked, Tetris, because, you sure? Oh, yeah, tell them, tell them. All right, we got an exclusive for you. You ready for this? Here Give it comes, to me. here it comes. We collaborated with the one, the only, 
the cosmically cool Ringo Starr. Ringo, Ringo, that's Ringo! Right. Oh my God, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ringo laid down some drums with the animal on our new song, uh, We Are One, uh, and it enhanced our music to a truly celestial level. Yes, that's the level, level. <laughs> yes, next level. I gotta ask about my favorite place, Disneyland. What's your favorite Disney park or attraction? Teacups! Yeah. Teacups, yeah! Teacups, teacups! Right, spinning around, spin, there spin, it goes. Spin. Come on, spin, animal, spin. get up. Spin, spin. Animal, come spin. over here. Spin, animal, stop spin. spinning. Spin. Hang on just spin. a second, he might go down. Uh. Yeah. Oh, you okay? Oh. oh my God. For the full interview, hit billboard.com. Before we let you go, let's check out some of the best fashion from Billboard's Latin Women in Music. That's it for today. Make sure you come back tomorrow to see which songs are trending on Twitter. And I go on a speed date with Shinsia. I'm Tetris Kelly, and this is Billboard News.